Welcome back to the Lawn Mentor channel. My name's Kyle, and if this is your first time here, I just wanna say thanks for stopping by. In the past few episodes, we have been talking about the lawn renovation that's going on in my front lawn, completely killed off with glyphosate, and now it has been seeded with GCI turf type tall fescue, and today is the day for the first mow. So today's the day that we're gonna do the first mow and one of the biggest questions that comes after you get that seed down and you start to see it growing is when should I do my first mow? Now that's gonna depend on a lot of things like your grass type and what your desired height of cut is once the grass matures. Healthy amounts of mowing will promote healthy amounts of growing. So in the case of the turf type tall fescue that's in my lawn, the more that we start to mow that, the more that the plant will actually tiller out. Look at the grass blades today. They're May only be one grass blade that sticks up from a particular seed but we want that to spread. Turf type tall fescue doesn't spread by rhizomes or stolons like something like Kentucky bluegrass but it does what is called tillering which is basically putting up additional blades of grass from the same root structure. Most of the time turf type tall fescue does best when it's mowed somewhere between three and four inches and obviously we're not there yet but the grass blades are starting to lay over just a little bit and we want to promote that tillering and so that the lawn will fill out and thicken up. I've got a manual reel mower here because it's the most gentle and gives the cleanest cut on this new grass. You don't want to run something like a Time Master with a strike kit over it because the new grass is still pretty delicate and we want the best cut that we can get. We want to get on the lawn, get off. Also, since this reel mower is so light, you can pick up the mower when you go through your turns and not do any harsh turning in the lawn. brought two things out with me to uh, make sure we check on before we start mowing here and that's a tape measure to verify that the bed knife is actually cutting where I think it's cutting per the instructions and then the second thing is a piece of paper to make sure that my reel is sharp and I'm cutting all the way across that bed knife. I did do a back lap on this reel mower that I bought on Facebook marketplace for like 20 bucks so if you're interested in getting a manual reel mower to do a first couple cuts on your lawn take a look at marketplace you can find them pretty cheap usually, and uh, this one was only used like two times, so it was really a sweet deal. Because there's nothing like starting to mow your lawn and realizing that you're scalping it. So make sure you check those things before you get started. Right about now I know what you're thinking oh my gosh I just stepped on all my grass and there's footprints and I left wheel marks and it's all bent over it's gonna die but you're gonna be okay it's totally fine it's totally normal if the grass lays over when you're walking on it or mowing it at this time it will stand back up the next couple days look like you were never even on the lawn So the first mow is complete and man, it feels good to be back out in the lawn and mowing again. I'm surprised at the amount of clippings that we were able to pick up with this. They look good, they look green, they look healthy. And uh, the goal really isn't to get a bunch of clippings out of the lawn, it's just to knock off those tips. The fact that we didn't get a ton of grass clippings, perfectly fine. As far as what height to mow when you're going about this first mow, it is okay to be lower than what you want your normal height of cut to be once the lawn has really grown in at that point. As far as mowing from here on out, you don't wanna to mow too often. You don't wanna stress the grass out by constantly walking and trampling on it. So 
give it a little bit of time, maybe a week, and check the growth again and see how much growth you're getting. It's not too important to obey the one-third rule right now, but obviously the less dramatic amounts of grass that we can cut off the plant, the less stress the plant is going to be under. Maybe give it about a week and check back in with your uh, tape measure and just see how tall the grass has grown since then. Could you use a rotary mower? The answer is yes. You may have a higher risk of when you do your turns, ripping up some grass, but it's not something that can't be fixed and cutting with a rotary mower will be just fine. We will be applying the second application of the next seeding and overseeding pack. If you enjoyed it today, give me a thumbs up and let me know down in the comments and I hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're new to the channel, drop your name down in the comments so I can say hello. Thanks for stopping by and watching this one. I'll talk to you next time.